Welcome to Keysight Education Portal. Today, we will be going through the Interconnect test for Keysight X1149. Before we start, let us start by discussing the overview of Interconnect test. Interconnect test refers to the checking the connection from one boundary scan device to other boundary scan device in the chain. In short, it tests whether the nodes have any structural defect. We will now proceed with the software guide for the Interconnect test. We will start by accessing the tests through Project Explorer. Specifically, Interconnect. Next, click on the Interconnect test under Test List. Click on Node List. This will enable you to view the list of tested nodes. Next, click on Run icon to execute the test. After the Interconnect test has passed, proceed to click on the Debug Output panel. After clicking on Debug Output panel, Click on Frame Debugger to view signature type as well as expected and actual results. The waveform view on the other hand will enable users to view results graphically. By unlocking the waveform viewer panel into a window, we can also see the waveforms more clearly. Now, we will analyze the results of the interconnect test on a deeper level. In the ideal case, the test result will indicate a past as shown. However, when we inject a short to ground by flipping one of the switches to close we will observe that failure happens. Hence, by referring to the repair ticket, we can identify both the expected and actual data bits. It also states where the failure is detected, and the components pin that are attached to the node. In this case, we can see that the repair ticket has stated that there is a likely suspect open or short to ground based on the actual data received. To identify where is the failure, we can view the waveform viewer from the debug output panel. By selecting only failing for both scan and TDITDO, we can see the red line in the waveform as shown in the red box, which indicates the failure by highlighting the difference between the expected and actual TDO. Here is another example of an interconnect test with errors. As shown in this example, we can note that U2 is highlighted in red. By glancing at the red section in the waveform, it enables quick comparison between the expected and actual bits of TDO. Moving on. We will switch from looking at waveform viewer to frame debugger. The frame debugger will reflect failure result based on signature and expected slash actual information. Under only frame cells, it will reflect the data from both the driver and the receiver. By clicking on only failing cells, we can zoom to the failure. By looking at the data scene, we can take note of both the expected and actual data reflected according to the execution sequence. The expected data will be reflected in alphabets and if it differs from the actual data as shown by the binaries, both the expected and actual data will be highlighted in red as shown.